Aloha everyone, it's Kona Raven and I am excited to share a Christmas mini album with you. So now that October is finally gone, um, we can get into the Christmas season. Uh, not that that stopped anybody from putting Christmas stuff out in October, right? Anyway, this particular mini album is not a new design. It is based off of my Regions Beyond tutorial. Uh, that tutorial that I created was for a Halloween mini album, so I thought I'd skip over the Halloween mini album this time and do a Christmas one. I thought this would be a great idea for a gift. Uh, it's really quick to make. It only took me three days and I only worked two, three hours um, to put it together. Uh, honestly, I probably could have done it in a day and a half or even less than that. Uh, and the best part about this particular tutorial is it's supposed to only use one pad of 8x8 paper uh, in order to fill the entire mini album. So, but this one, I ended up using one and a quarter, and only because I didn't use the blacks, uh, the black paper that, that was part of the collection, I only used the, the red and the greens. But even if, um, I, maybe I used one and a quarter to create this mini album. All right, so let's take a look at it. The front cover, I decorated with some uh, fussy cutting, which really isn't my forte, but I thought it turned out pretty well. Here's some pieces that I cut out from the collection and put on some chipboard and popped up. Uh, these flowers here are from Hobby Lobby and some metal embellishments. The closure I decided to use is a ribbon closure. I just punched a grommet right through and uh, I did that on both sides as you can see. All right, so the spine is one and three quarters, but that could be different for anybody's mini album. It really just depends on uh, the kind of embellishing you do. I tend to embellish pretty flat, so that's why my spine is much smaller um, than some folks who are like two, three inch spines because they like to embellish a lot to each his own. So let's take a look on the inside. All right, so before I start showing you around this mini album, the pages are not in the same order as the Regions Beyond tutorial, for those of you that have seen that mini album. Um, I reordered them uh, based on the type of embellishments I had on it and where the closures were. All right, so on the front cover, I thought it'd be nice to have a nice opening photo. It's five by four and a quarter and a photo can slide right underneath this chipboard piece here. My first page, this is a magnetic closure that opens up to nice two spaces for photos. There's a swing tab there that opens up. You have a little pocket and a tag. And then because I like photos of all size, this also flips up. Oops, no it doesn't, it flips to the left. Don't even know my own mini album. Uh, flips to the left and you can see that there's photo space for a six by four photos, at least two of them. This time, what I did was I did uh, outer pocket photo mats. I didn't do that with the Regions Beyond one. I kept it just to pages, but this one I wanted to do it because it gives us a little uh, two extra photo mats per. I didn't put paper on these photo mats because I figured the photos were gonna cover it well enough and then the paper would be buried underneath it. So I didn't think that it was necessary, but I did love making the tabs using the We Are Memory Keepers tabs punch board. It is super easy to use and it's a fun tool. So if you don't have it, I highly recommend it. The next page is just a swing tab there that opens up. This flips down, swing tab on the inside, flips to the left, and then this splits into two photo mats here and then opens up. So what you can't see is that this area here, when all the flaps are closed, it's an eighth inch deep uh, little box. So I've already found out that you can fit four six by four photo mats in here, which is eight photos. 
with the addition of whatever you can put on those flaps. So that's not bad space. Not bad real estate for a small mini. All right, this is a magnet closure. Another swing tab that opens to the left and this to the right. And again, another photo mat on the outer pocket. All right, on my next page, there's a big old swing tab that opens up to the top. This opens down. And then you can see this opens up, left and right. I love doing this because I love to coordinate the papers and make it look all fancy, or I try to anyway, but there's something total OCD about it and I dig it. <laughs> and because I don't wanna lose the space behind this little box, it is magnetic, it folds down. You could put a photo here, but you can certainly put a photo on the inside because there's space enough for two. I like to call this like the twin boxes or the twin size, twin photo mats, whatever you wanna to name it, but there's two swing tabs there these open out um, on the right side that first flap opens to the left and the right nice space for photos here and then with the left side it opens out to the right and again space for three photos and because that's really not enough photo space because it's small that opens up and you have space for six by four photos on the inside in addition to the outer pocket photo mats. All right. On the last official page, there is a pocket here. It's just holding cutouts from the collection so that I tucked in there. Swing tab that opens up. This flips down. You could put a photo here. This opens up, space for photos, and then it also flips to the right and you have space for photos here. And then on the back cover, nothing special. I just put a nice little pocket and I had a ton of cutouts from the collection so I just shoved them all in there. All right, so that was the St. Nicholas mini album. That was a redo or a remake of their using the Regions Beyond uh, mini album tutorial that I created previously. I'm going to put the link for that tutorial down below. Uh, if you're interested, you can find that in my Etsy shop. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping in. If you like what you saw, please subscribe below so that you'll always be aware of new content. Thank you so much for watching and aloha.